The Universe of Time Paradox, Explained Welcome back, fellow enthusiasts of the unknown. Today, we embark on a mind-bending journey through the mysteries of time itself. Join me as we delve into the enigmatic world of time paradox and unlock its secrets once and for all. Brace yourselves, for this adventure will challenge everything you thought you knew about time. Many questions and possibilities would arise if time travel were attainable. One frequently asked question is, where are all the visitors from the future? If time travel were possible, people from the future would most likely visit the past at some point. Because of science fiction, time travel is a popular notion all around the world. Although the concept of time travel is frequently explored in entertainment media such as TV series, movies, and books, the majority of individuals believe that time travel is impossible for biological or philosophical reasons. Albert Einstein was quoted as saying, people who believe in physics, like us, understand that the line between past, present, and future is really a stubbornly persistent illusion. In a few words, let me explain the time paradox. The time paradox is the idea that our experience of time does not move in a straight line from the past to the present to the future. Instead, our individual and collective memories, expectations, and ideas about the past, present, and future impact how we experience time. This can lead to paradoxes and inconsistencies because how we view events and experiences in connection to one another influences our understanding of time. Because time travel is a contradiction in and of itself, paradoxes were created. There are two kinds of paradoxes. Paradoxes of consistency and casual loops. Let's start with some examples of consistency paradoxes. These contradictions emerge when a time traveler performs something that did not happen in the past. The outcomes of these contradictions are unpredictable. The grandfather paradox, Hitler's murder paradox, and Polchinski's dilemma are a few instances. The grandfather contradiction is a fascinating contradiction and one of the most well-known time travel paradoxes. Because of the inconsistency caused by historical change, the incident described in this conundrum becomes a paradox. It asks, what if you went back in time before the birth of any of your parents and killed your own grandfather? This decision will put an end to the entire family line following your grandfather, and consequently, everyone, including you, should vanish. This contradiction is about more than just killing the grandfather. It raises a far bigger question concerning the existence of time travel, such as who killed your grandfather if you were not even born. Hitler's murder paradox is akin to the grandfather paradox in that you travel back in time and murder Adolf Hitler before he rises to power. Listen to grandfather's paradox, you removed the very cause for your birth, and now you've erased the precise reason you returned in time. Furthermore, murdering your grandfather has a limited butterfly impact, but murdering Hitler? You put an end to World War II and the Holocaust. Furthermore, you halt significant technological developments associated with World War II, which could have paved the way for your time machine technology. Now, since Hitler doesn't exist, why would you go back in time to murder him? The final illustration is Polchinski's paradox. American theoretical physicist Joseph Polchinski discovered the contradiction in a letter to fellow physicist Kip Fromm. This time paradox is more scientific because it is consistent with Einstein's theory. It indicates that if you send a billiard ball into the past at an angle and it goes along and existing in the past at the precise moment you send it to collide with itself, does that mean it never entered the wormhole in the first place? In case you're unfamiliar with the term wormhole, a wormhole is a hypothetical conduit through space-time that would allow matter or information to flow from one point in the universe to another, maybe even through time, in speculative physics. Wormholes are often referred to as Einstein-Rosen bridges. After physicists Albert Einstein and Nathan Rosen, who suggested their existence in 1935. As an answer to this dilemma, a team studied collision possibilities and identified various instances in which the future ball impacts or passes without hitting the future ball. After analyzing these scenarios using quantum physics, the team determined that the probability of obtaining a non-paradoxical outcome is very high. These are three instances of consistency paradoxes. Now consider casual loop paradoxes. What if a past event triggers a future occurrence? 
and the future event triggers the same past event? These are originless paradoxes, which are casual loops with a contradiction. Predestination dilemma and bootstraps paradox are two examples of these paradoxes. The predestination paradox is a circumstance in which a person who travels back in time to change the outcome becomes a part of past events. Also, he has a better probability of causing the events that prompted the individual to travel back in time in the first place. The contradiction is called the predestination paradox because history is supposed to be predetermined in this instance. Regardless of who tries to change the past, the event will be fulfilled. Assume your cat is hit by a car approaching a turn and you decide to travel back in time and mend it. Because you know the specific moment and location where your cat dies, you are prepared to save the cat. Your cat has noticed you from the other side of the road and is approaching you. You start sprinting to stop the cat since you already know what will happen. Unfortunately, a speeding automobile takes the curve and comes straight at you. To avoid hitting you, the driver turns the steering wheel and accidentally runs over your cat, killing it in the process. You suddenly realize you are the cause of your cat's death. And now the issue is, how did it all start? What is the true origin? It's all a time loop. For the paradox of the bootstraps. In the bootstrap paradox, instead of two events, one object with precise information is sent back in time, creating an infinite loop. You acquire a book about creating a time machine sent to your door one day. You begin creating the machine, and after 20 years, you complete it. Then you travel back in time and give the book to your former self. Who wrote the book in the first place? Most of these paradoxes are perplexing, but let's look at some of their solutions. Two hypotheses have been suggested in response to these contradictions. These possibilities, like the concept of time travel itself, are more associated with fiction than science. The timeline protection concept and the multiverse hypothesis are both viable options. A third solution, known as the Novikov self-consistency principle, provides a more scientific resolution, particularly to casual loop paradoxes. According to the timeline protection hypothesis, the universe includes a built-in system that prohibits time travelers from changing the past in a way that creates paradoxes or otherwise disrupts the continuity of the timeline. This mechanism could be physical, such as a barrier or force field that stops time travelers from engaging with the past, or more abstract, such as a system of metaphysical principles governing the flow of time. There is no scientific data to support a timeframe protection idea, hence it is completely theoretical. However, the concept has been explored in a number of science fiction books and has been utilized to resolve paradoxes and other contradictions that may arise in the setting of time travel. This section also includes the solution to Polchinski's paradox, which has a scientific basis. Previous answers, obviously, sound fictitious. According to this hypothesis, you shouldn't be able to do anything in the past. In other words, you're a ghost from the future who can only watch what happens. Stephen Hawking's chronology protection theory is a scientific version of this idea that says that the development of closed time-like curves is not permitted by physics. And then there's the multiverse theory. Each universe in the multiverse has its own chronology, and these histories can be linked by various mechanisms, such as wormholes or other speculative constructs. If this is the case, time travelers may be able to traverse across worlds and timelines, perhaps allowing them to visit the past or future of their own reality or another universe. The multiverse hypothesis is a highly speculative notion that lacks mainstream scientific support. It has, however, been advocated as a means of resolving some paradoxes and contradictions that may occur in the context of time travel. For example, if a time traveler visits the past and makes changes that alter the course of history, the modifications may only influence the timeline of the universe visited, leaving the chronology of the time traveler's own world unaltered. This could enable time travel without causing paradoxes or other contradictions. Then there's Novikov's self-consistency principle, which was devised by Russian physicist Igor Dmitrievich Novikov and claims that if an event generates a paradox or alters, anything in history has zero possibility of happening, making the creation of a time paradox impossible. According to Novikov's self-consistency principle, when time travel is involved, 
the rules of physics will always operate to prevent paradoxes from developing. This means that if a time traveler went back in time and made modifications that changed the course of history, the alterations would have to be self-consistent, meaning they would not contradict or disrupt previous occurrences. The previously reported evaluation results based on Polchinski's paradox support this principle. Along with the three dimensions of space, length, width, and height, time is frequently referred to as the fourth dimension. Time is the only dimension with only one orientation, it can only move ahead, not backward. This approach of thinking about time can help you understand some physics and mass ideas. Many dreamers have imagined what it would be like to be able to travel backward in time, but based on our current understanding of physics principles, such a journey is only imaginable in our wildest fantasies. In physics, space and time are frequently thought to be components of a single phenomenon called a spacetime. Spacetime is a mathematical model that combines space's three dimensions with time's dimension, and it is used to describe the behavior of things and events in the universe. The laws of physics are the same for all observers, independent of their relative motion, according to relativity theory, and this principle is commonly stated in the form of the space-time interval. Overall, the fourth dimension concept is a helpful approach to think about the link between space and time and how they interact in the cosmos. It is a key notion in both physics and mathematics, and it has assisted scientists and philosophers in better understanding the nature of the universe and the fundamental rules that govern it. Years ago, no one would have imagined that we could communicate with someone 3,000 miles away with only a box in our hand, but today, smartphones are commonplace. It's not surprising that Hawking initially thought time travel was impossible, there are simply too many paradoxes involved in the entire process. Similarly, while execution of this theory and practice may appear difficult at the moment, it is not. Our current knowledge of the cosmos is limited. There is still plenty to learn about nature. Though time travel is currently impossible, it is entertaining and fascinating to imagine. However, there are a few possibilities as to why we haven't seen any visitors in the future. One option is that time travel is impossible and all thoughts concerning it are speculative. It's possible that time travel is only possible under particular conditions, and we haven't encountered those criteria yet. Another theory is that time travel is conceivable, but it is subject to specific constraints or risks. It is possible, for example, that the technology required to travel through time is not yet available to us, or that the implications of changing the past are too severe to justify the effort. Finally, it is feasible that visitors from the future have already visited us and we are merely unaware of it. We may never know time travelers existed if they were able to blend in with our society and go undiscovered. Finally, the subject of where all the visitors from the future are is enticing, and we won't have a definitive answer until time travel becomes a reality. In addition to the paradox, there is another well-known one known as the Femi Paradox, which explains why aliens have not visited Earth. Conclusion And there you have it, dear audience, the captivating realm of time paradox, a labyrinth of questions, and limitless possibilities. As we conclude this journey, remember that beyond the realm of science, it is the relentless pursuit of knowledge that pushes the boundaries of our imagination. So, keep exploring, stay curious, and embrace the wonders yet to be unraveled in our mysterious universe. Thank you for joining me on this enthralling expedition. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more intriguing and thought-provoking content. Until next time, fellow adventurers, remember to treasure every tick of the clock and keep questioning the fabric of time itself. If you want to learn more, watch the video above. Thanks for watching today's video and subscribe for future videos.